Today it's going to be a Celtic cross reading for the sign of Aries. So whether it's your sun, your moon, your rising, your midheaven, or even your north node, this may resonate for you. I'm just shuffling the deck right now to start off. I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck. And we're shuffling for the sign of Aries. 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 One more. Aries. Okay. So, what is the challenge? One, two, three. And let's go. In five. One, two, three, four, five. The tower. Okay. What is crossing in five? One, two, three. Four, five. The full reversed. <clears throat> what is crowning in five? Hermit reversed. What is beneath in five? One, two, three, four, five. The Ace of Swords reversed. We have a lot of reversals here. Okay, all right. Um, what is behind in five? One, two, three, four, five. The King of Cups. What is in front soon to come in five? One. It fell out. The Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, <clears throat> now hmm now what one card to represent Aries in this current moment in five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. The lovers reversed. Looking like an, a love reading so far, to be quite honest with you. Okay. Now, 
one card to represent those around Aries in five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. The nine of rods reversed. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Now, a card for the hopes and fears in five. One, two, three, four, five, six of swords. In the hopes and fears. Okay. And now one card for the possible outcome in five. Five of Swords. I'm going to have to clarify that. <laughs> Why the Five of Swords? So what is this Five of Swords about for the possible outcome in five? Magician reversed. I don't like this. Hold on. I need to. Okay, re magician reversed. Can you tell me more? Five, two, three, four, five. Mm, okay. I might be getting some message here as to what the energy is telling me about this. I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to get a different read on the other side here. Just like a, a short three card pull to where it, um, see if we can find a solution to this, right? So far I'm getting pretty dark vibes here. Um... Aries. Obstacle. Solution. Okay. I'll do a challenge. Obstacle. Solution. Over here for Aries. Sorry, the lighting. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. I would like to get a card for the challenge in regards to this read for Aries in five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Challenge. Okay, now what about the obstacle? What's the obstacle for Aries in five? Two, three, four, five. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Now, what's the solution? Solution for Aries. In five, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. 
you got your own card, by the way. The Emperor is the card of Aries in the Major Arcana. All right. I got a little more clarity at the bottom of this one for this is the seven of pentacles. So <clears throat> let me just kind of sift through this really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So I went over it and, um, the way this is set up, I'm reading it in a very unique way. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So the challenge is the tower. The tower card represents um, a crumbling of foundations. Something was not built on solid ground. Um, it represents a huge turning point of, of something in the physical reality in 3D, right? Monumental moment is the challenge. Crossing it is the fool reversed. So the fool upright means a brand new start, a new cycle, the start of a new chapter that you're embarking on. When this is, and normally this would come out after the tower, right? And it'd be upright. But this is crossing the tower, the challenge that's in your midst, maybe. And maybe it's not in 3D. The tower can also maybe represent your inner world right now. Maybe it's not something outwardly like I was saying. But either or, whatever resonates for you. Um, but with the full being upside down and crossing that tells me that someone is resisting the, the uh, realization of the tower happening. So someone doesn't want to look at it. And the hermit reversed being the crowning the way that this was, the way this is positioned, I'll show you really quick. Hold on. So the way that this is positioned, you see the hermit card at the very top here, right there. So he's upside down, but he's also facing the past position, right? So he's almost like he's, He's there, but he's not like, it's not, he's not focusing on the parts that are important to look at. It's almost like looking back to the past that cannot be brought back, right? That's just kind of what I'm getting because the hermit card is a very spiritual card. It's a major arcana, just like the tower and the fool, by the way. And, um, Then uh, beneath is the Ace of Swords reversed. When you get the Ace of Swords reversed, it means that uh, communication is not very good. It means that, um, well, hold on, let me just put this phone back. Give me a moment. So the Ace of Swords reversed, it means that um, there's no clear communication. Um, the throat chakra needs to be worked on. And maybe I'm getting this sense that it is hard to speak your emotions. It's hard to get um, in a um, get yourself to talk about certain things. And then um, behind we have we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is, well, he is emotional, but he's reserved. He feels tons of emotion, but he's not the type to show it. That's kind of what he represents. This being behind, I don't view it as in a past, a past tense. 
I view this as this is what you hide about yourself, that you have emotions. And then what's in front, there's a queen of swords that's upside down. Goes in line with what's beneath here. The ace of swords having a hard time communicating what you really feel, what you really mean. There's a certain point where you, you have a very difficult time going deeper in conversation about certain subjects. Um, so when the queen of swords is upside down, being the front facing, this is the one that, this is the personality I kind of show, you know, to those that um, I don't want to let in maybe. After a certain point, the queen of swords, up, you know, reverse, she'll say, nope, I, I don't want to talk about it or just shut down. Um, or lash out if triggered in a way to where, um, I don't want to talk about this. You know, I, there's, it's like, you know, or it could represent two people. I'm kind of looking that at this. At first I thought it was like a, it is like love involved, I believe. I'm getting that vibe, but I also think this speaks about you, about how you handle things in your life. Maybe. Um, then we have the lovers reversed in your current position. So when the lovers is upright, it represents, well, the lovers, you know, that's the name of the card. Um, but this is like representing the good times as well. Whether it be with the one you love or with family or with yourself, just treasured memories. But right now it's upside down. What's going on? What is it that you're having such a difficult time expressing that makes it to where you can't seem to get the words out? You know, it's terrifying, yes. But if you allow it to happen you can start anew moving on so nine of rods reversed in those around you the nine of rods represents very guarded upright very aware of boundaries maybe a little too much sometimes reversed I kind of get this energy. Maybe a lot of people around you are just letting loose and they don't have boundaries anymore. Maybe it seems to you that you don't see people like caring anymore and they're just so easily flaunting and just maybe, maybe it's something that you like and maybe it's something you don't like. Either way, this is representing those around you. Okay. Um, in your hopes and fears, you have the Six of Swords. It's upright. Okay. So this goes in line with the Ace of Swords being reversed, the Queen of Swords being in reverse earlier. This message I'm getting right now is that if it's in your hopes and it's the only Swords card that's upright... Your hopes is that you can release what has been burdening you, maybe. You'll get it out and you'll communicate about it with no fear. It might lead to something ending, possibly, because the Six of Swords is going to calmer waters. Or it could also represent 
since you finally allow yourself to speak your mind, speak your truth, you know, you, you feel like you're going into calmer waters now overall because you allowed yourself to do that. It could also represent that too. It doesn't have to represent like something ending either, but your fears are that yes, maybe if you were to speak your truth and let it all out. So the chaos within you stops happening. It might lead to an ending. So that's the hopes and fears. So it's hard to predict. I don't use cards to fortune tell. I just don't believe in fortune telling like that because it just doesn't make sense. If we all have free will, fortune telling is irrelevant. It's not possible. You can see things, different possibilities, but you cannot make an absolute. So just always keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so then in the outcome, possible outcome, I got the five of swords upright. So this card of the five of swords looks different than the other one, right? So it doesn't look the same. That's why I like to use different decks because you can get a different message. Um, so with the five of swords, he doesn't really look malicious in any way, but he is by himself. But then I clarified, right? With the magician being uh, reversed as well. So after the fool reversed that was crossing the tower, we got the magician in the uh, possible outcome reversed. So, okay. And the eight of rods reversed on top of that. Um, this could either be, hmm. I'm getting two different messages here. Swords represent the mind. So, um, this could be a warning as to not self-sabotage yourself by overthinking, um, or be wary of what you tell people because it could come back to you. How much you let out to others can uh, lead to your demise. Sometimes you have to be very wary as to who you share your information with. Um, swords, five of swords, right? <clears throat> so you could, if you're sharing too much to others that don't need to be shared, this could really uh, impact you without, it could have been avoided, right? Um, and then here it says, to clarify, it's, it's the magician reversed and the eight of rods, um, reversed rods or wands. So fire. This to me, yeah, I would take this as a warning. Be very careful as to what you share to others. Also, be aware that um, not everyone will have your best interests at heart, okay? Even if they might seem that way. Um, but then I pulled another spread for you, okay? Because I didn't want it to be all bad and stuff this whole thing was a mixture of your inner self <laughs> what you might be feeling inside and then also pertains to the way you love yourself the way you feel love for others the way that you um feel fulfilled get a sense of fulfillment and then also some career stuff i was getting a lot of career stuff in this by the way, so in regards to career, I would really look out. I'm getting that for some reason. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just be careful around like work and all that stuff. Even some friends, okay? Um, <clears throat> focus on family, all that, and yourself. So moving on to the other, um, uh, other spread I did to help kind of raise this vibration. I don't want this to be a bad message or just be negative. So 
I did an obstacle spread. Um, so the challenge in regards to all of this going on, um, it's going to be working on your pentacles. It's going to be at work. Yeah, I just, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Just something in, in regards to work. You're going to have to work really hard and keep your focus on work and no one else. Don't get involved in dramas. Don't get involved in things. Okay. Um, and be careful. Focus on that. Um, the obstacle is um, your mind. Your mind is your worst enemy. And... Sometimes when you're all up in your mind, your swords are all there of communication, but no one's hearing it. Only you hear it. So it's, it's very burdensome. Your solution is the emperor. You, you are your own solution. And look at how, look at how magnificent the emperor looks. He looks straight on. He has no fear. He doesn't give a damn. He's like, I am sitting on my throne in my power and I do not fear you. I have the strength and willpower to conquer anything that tries to get in my way. So that is your solution. Find your inner power because it's there. Be brave. Be brave to communicate and turn this upside down ace of swords right side up because the emperor doesn't care. He, well, he cares, but he is not afraid to speak his mind and he's not afraid to also speak from his heart. He will say something in a diplomatic way, especially because he's not reversed. He's upright. So, all right, so I hope that that message helps um, someone out there. And I think it was very interesting. I don't think I've ever done a reading for Aries before, so this was fun. All right, we'll have a great day, and I'll see you soon.